Okay, so this was the first thing that caught my eye. I don't really know why, but I have had spotlights before, so maybe that's why it caught my eye. Plus, it's big and red. But this one was kind of neat because it was on wheels. It had a good look. Um, I made Gary go plug it in, and it did work. So I just think it would be fun to put in your house and use as a light. Might need rewired, but... We know that it works. Of course, you know that I love green, so I like this bin, but I also really like these snowshoes. I have some. I like the pair that I have too, but this pair just looked super unique. And then this gumball machine caught my eye. It is all metal. I can't ever tell if they're older or newer, so I kind of looked. Everything worked, but these are great for collections. So you could put marbles in there, Scrabble tiles in there, dice, thimbles, whatever little bits that you collect. This music sheet, I should have grabbed it. It's Christmas. It has a good look, but I didn't. I have had a set like this, at least the rectangular ones. These still have their lids. I think I've lost mine over the years, but I did think they were a little high. Honestly, I never look at plates too much. I don't like shipping breakable things. It's not really something that I collect. If it's white, solid ironstone, yes. Or if I'm really needing to switch out some dishes that I have, Yes, but typically I just kind of do a quick look and move on. I've really been wanting to collect original art. I mean, this obviously looks like a art class. I didn't really like the composition. I did like that it was on a board and I did end up leaving it. This white one caught my eye. I wanted to see what the markings were. I found one had better crazing but similar shape and it did not have any markings so I was just curious. I really loved the texture on this woven bowl. Um, I don't really know what I would put in it, but I liked the look. The little ends here, I, I don't know. I thought that was a little bit weird. Prices were feeling a little bit high for a thrift store. You've got this copper egg poacher for 10 and then this it's not a cross stitch. What do you even call it? Cruel uh, barn, which I thought was super cute, but it was $10 and I don't know. I'm, I'm frugal. So on some of these shops with multiple booths, what I do is I go to my favorite places where I have the most success first and look and see what they have. And then I will be strategic about moving around. This U.S. mailbox is new to the booth, and it is awesome. Nice, heavy cast iron. I mean, look at all the details I'm showing you. It's on a stand. Great color. Definitely somebody needs to come get this. I can't remember the whole story, but my sister and my brother-in-law have a quilt made out of Crown Royal bags. So these caught my eye and there is actually two bundles of them here. So they would be fun to do a uh, craft with. Why do miniatures or kid sized things always get my attention? I, d I don't understand. The wicker on these two is very pretty. I especially like the back of that white one. I could see putting a potted plant in it and using it as a plant stand and even just hanging it on the wall you know, have a pop of color on the wall and hanging it up would really accentuate the detail on the back. You could even stack some linens in it or something instead of a plant. Oh, another gumball machine. This one was blue. Again, I can never tell the age, but I'm guessing this one was newer. And I'm thinking 
off memory, this one was a little bit more expensive, but still fun to do a display with. This print really caught my eye. I mean, the thing is ginormous and the colors on whatever these flowers are is gorgeous as well. It is da not dated, but um, marked what print number it is and it is signed. And I actually didn't mind the gold frame. Somehow this wood pencil sketch caught my eye. I don't know, would this have been a kit? Is it going to be a paint by number? And then they signed and did a bunch of stuff on the back. It was just very interesting to me. So now at 44 years old, I know what tramp art is. So I have been paying attention to tramp art frames. And when I grabbed this, I seriously thought it was a cross stitch, but it is just paper. So from a distance, it looked real. This chair is so cute. And look at this stool, totally killing me with the color. And this chair could be a big version of the smaller chair that I saw in a different booth. Definitely some cabin items in this booth. This log with holes in it from a bird or I don't know, a fence post maybe. Oh, this watercolor. I thought it was gorgeous. I was in love. I love, 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 love the colors and look. Okay, we're gonna be sharing things a little bit different today. So I got this clipboard with the thimble on it. it it's a flashcard basically. And save my receipts. Now I need to remember to go put them with my book work. But I got this just because I have literally like, I don't know, 50 thimbles. So I thought how cute would this be to display with it and then list them on my website. So I think I'm gonna do that and then it'll be for sale. See all of the thimbles and I've sold a lot too, it's crazy. But I think they'll look super cute with this clipboard and a picture. This, you probably saw me when I was shopping. Like I went to brass and I was like, okay, I'm not going to record anything. Scared the pejesus out of Bella. Look how flippin' cute this is. And I did happen to pull it up online because I have had a lounger that was, oh, I want to say it had orange fabric. It wasn't this style. And uh, it was a very high dollar. And so I just had an inkling that these might go for a lot. And I was right. So I got that. And then this watercolor. I can't decide if I'm going to keep it or sell it. It's absolutely gorgeous. So I love that it's kind of, it's not like a white white, it's more aged. And I think this will look really good up in my dining room because I have that winter scene up there right now and I don't wanna have the winter scene up there in the summertime. So. This is, I thought T.H. Kennedy, but I think it's F.H. Kennedy. I could not find anything about the artist online, but I love, love, love the watercolor. This is another one of those things that I think that I shared. Anytime you have a box, I like them. You can use them as risers for storage. This one is dovetailed and has the hinges or latch and it has some pretty old advertising on it. So it's a mimograph, which I don't even know what that is except for, I think it's for printing. And I don't think that it's all in here. So that's the screen. Again, good old advertising. 
and then somehow you would probably roll ink onto this and then press down and transfer your image. Um, this does come out. Let's see if I can do it with one hand. And then it's missing the roller, which I think would have been sitting in here in like an ink pad and stuff. But it has some of the old paperwork and stuff inside. So I love that it's divided because it's very useful then for storage. And really I could piece this out, I think, and sell things separately if I wanted. Um, but I always, always check out boxes. If you're not already following me on Facebook and Instagram, you need to. So I shared this lovely lady um, and I just said, would you get it? Love it or leave it, basically. And the vote was definitely leave it, but I brought it home anyway. I love it. I found some online. Um, it is like marked here at the bottom. I don't even remember what it says. And you've got the sticker label as well, which helps you find what this is. Now I can't even remember. It's like a cloaked Madonna, maybe. And then I was really liking this guy. Now I can't think who it was. It's kind of dinged up, but I honestly thought he would look good with those pencil sketches or charcoal sketches that I have in the boys' bathroom. Or what I'm going to, I have one hanging and I'm going to do another one. I want to say it was like Hamilton, maybe. I don't know. And then this little puppy planter basket I thought was too cute. I think it's just a USA. And then I need to pot, a, what are they, pythos that I have in my windowsill um, that I got from a girlfriend. And I just thought, I like the way this pot looks. Every other time I've bought a white one, it's normally been marked like McCoy or something, and so they've sold. So this one's probably just a cheap, no-name one. And so I can keep it. Then this actually works. We did plug it in. It is a spotlight for the fire department. I haven't really looked too much. Like That looks like a name, but I don't know what it says. I did an image search on it, though, and... It was worth um, purchasing. It does have wheels on the bottom of it, and I just love the color. You could put this on the ground um, in your basement and actually use it as a light. Well, other things I picked up, I think this is copper plated. To me, those look like molars. I don't know why, but this little mold is cute. And then we got a bag of these old spice jars, the smell glass. They're plain, but I really like them. Nice red, red lid. It would be even better if they were green, of course, but they'll do. Then I just want to show you things are kind of a mess down here because I am getting all of these things priced and ready to go for my May 7th Facebook sale. Got things everywhere. It's going to be a huge sale, and I'm just going to go until I've shared about everything that I have. And then I think it was last week I shared this space. I changed out the light bulbs to daylight bulbs. Makes the wall color look so much better, but you can see I'm going to paint anyway, and we're going to rearrange and move my hardware dresser over here and put it on this empty wall with the TV. So move the TV over. So the basement is even messier than normal because I'm trying to get everything cleared off of all of these pieces of furniture and moved over to the kitchenette area so that I can move furniture and paint.